let's keep rolling. Next up is our FCS Coach of the Year Award. Let's meet our regional finalist. From Region 1, the University at Albany, Greg Gattuso. Our Region 2 winner from Furman University, Clay Hendricks. Our Region 3 winner is not here today, but we want to recognize him from Florida A&M, Willie Simmons. Our Region 4 winner from Drake University, Todd Stepsis. And finally, our Region 5 winner from the University of Montana, Bobby Houck. Congratulations, coaches. How about a round of applause for these finalists? Now let's see who our 2023 FCS Coach of the Year is. Things were not looking good for the University of Albany heading into 2023. The Great Danes were coming off of two straight seasons with records of 2-9 and 3-9. and 10th year head coach Greg Gattuso had his work ahead of him, but he relied on his championship winning pass to get the Great Danes winning again. A standout defensive lineman at Penn State who was part of their 1982 national championship team, Greg had 12 winning seasons at Duquesne, where he finished with a 97 and 32 overall record. In Gattuso's first season at UAlbany, he led them to a six win turnaround from the year before. 2023 didn't start out as well as the Great Danes lost two of their first three games. But Greg righted the ship and UAlbany won eight of their final nine regular season games to claim the program's first ever Coastal Athletic Association title. Gattuso led the Great Danes to the semifinals of the FCS playoffs, the furthest the program had ever reached, finishing the 2023 season at 11 and four. The AFCA proudly presents the 2023 FCS Coach of the Year to Greg Gattuso. Thank you. I certainly am not going to be like Coach Kill. It's about the most entertaining thing you're going to hear from a football coach. I can promise you that. But I would like to thank everybody. Um, it's a special award because it's voted on by, the, by you, the coaches. And I think that's something that I value very greatly. Um, not long ago, I was out there. If I can do it, anybody can, guys. So just keep working. The one thing I would say to you, um, take care of your families. They're the most important. But uh, like Coach Kill said, you better love the kids before you can coach them hard. So thank you for this award. You Albany's grateful. And lastly, I would say this is a team award. Coaches, players, and our families. Thank you very much.